<laughs> I'll go. Um, okay. Oh my God. I uh, I was out in the woods today, walking around, thinking about what um, what story I wanted to tell, and um, thought I'd bring a song with it. You know, there was the time. Um, there was the time in Seattle. I liked to take really intuitive walks, and wherever I went on that walk, I would just decide I'm gonna let spirit guide me. I'm gonna let the little friendly voice, we would hope, inside guide where I'm headed. Um, and I came to a tree at one point, and I remember the, the guide in me was like, okay, walk to the tree. And I thought, well, great, I'll get to learn whether I go right or left in this case. And I got there, it asked me to stop, and I stopped. And then it said, pick up that rock. And I looked down, and it was a little white rock below me. So I picked up the rock. And the guide voice said, now, now put it down. And at that point, I got frustrated. And just was, I'd had enough, you know, of this, this crazy thing. And I, I looked at the rock, and I threw it straight up in the air. Straight up in the air. God, come what may. And it hit, it hit a limb. And it, it bounced down beside me, it hit a root, it bounced up and hit the trunk, and then, poof, right into my pocket. It was the strangest thing. Um, I, I hadn't moved an inch. And uh, I kind of nodded, I was like, huh, so that's how it can work. Um, well, this is leading to the time I was in South Africa. I was young, I was around 20, and I had gotten a round trip ticket. And while there, I'd met a best friend. I heard there was a word in, um, from a friend of mine. It's somewhere in Northern Europe. One of the, the languages has a word for a friend partner. And it's this person that you're, they know everything. They know like when you take a shit, they know this. They know what, what color it is, you know. And this was my buddy. We lived together, ate together, slept in the same room together, traveled together. And we were out on this long adventure way out in the wilderness in a forest, and there were places where they'd set aside things called big trees. This is a big tree, it's a stop. It would be like a special, um, you know, spot that you'd go visit. So big tree, you know, five kilometers to the left. And we went and we went to visit this big tree. And we went on a long walk in the woods. Um, there were some magical plants that we ingested, and we went far in that journey. Um, at least in the interior world. And at one point, I was trying to convince my friend to leave his shoes behind because we were going to become completely wild. It was beautiful. He chose to bring him back, which I'm really grateful for. Um, but on the way back, I had this grief that was coming up in me. And it was the grief of not wanting to go back home, back to the States, back to Babylon, back to this place, when I was learning so much where I was. Yeah. And I, I went to the tree, I went on a walk, and I came to this giant tree. It was absolutely massive, huge trunk, great big limbs, something from a, um, the, uh, the, the Avatar movie, or, or, or um, something massive, like an elephant with its gray gnarled trunk. A fence was around it, a sign letting you know this was it, the big tree. And I just broke down crying. And I, I poured my heart out to this tree. And I told it my sorrows. I told it my woes. I, I wasn't ready to go back. I was so afraid I was going to disappoint my parents who were waiting for me. And this was the time, a few of you may remember the time when internet was very hard to find sometimes. You had to go to special cafes, and I'd been out of touch already, you know, disappointing their need to know I was still alive, which wasn't clear on their end <laughs> from time to time. And I, I asked this tree what to do. And until that moment, it hadn't said anything back to me. But in the silence, when I finally finished sharing my whole grief with the tree, I heard a great voice, a booming voice. 
And this is what it said. Keep growing. <laughs> and everything became crystal clear. I was to ditch the round trip ticket, stay there and continue this wonderful journey, which is what I did. And I'm very, very grateful for that tree. There, there were a few minutes after that when I continued to wallow in my sorrow and suffering, it didn't say anything else. You know how it is. Like a friend, you're like, I've, I've given you my advice. That's, just, just take it. Just take it. Shut up. It's good. So I've never forgotten that. And I mean, what else would a big tree say, you know? Fuck. growing. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciated the opportunity to meet young, young Micah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I felt so comfortable hearing your story and just being guided along and I was captivated and I just felt like you're talking directly to me and deep into my heart and just like lifting me up and taking me on this journey with you. So thank you, Micah. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. I felt like you actually had reached into your bag of stories and said, this one. <laughs> and it was just so beautiful. <laughs> mm. It's true. The one I had in mind, something I felt like something needed to change. And I, I went on that forest walk a little while before this call, and that one came to me. It's like, ah. Yeah, I just felt you were so present, and you always are, and when you share, and it just invites me into that presence along with you. So I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Micah, you have a three minutes off timer? No, I'm just fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have a touch of the bard, you know, that, 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 that kind of way that's so natural where you could just, you just, the, it, it takes you in all these little rivulets of journeys and, and little pieces and they all come together and then boom, boom you, you went somewhere. You quite don't even know where you're going, but you don't even need to know that you're going because you're in a big forest with so many different pieces that are all along the way. Mm. And I just love that, that way of your telling. <laughs> I so appreciated your song. Mm. I'll, I'll confess just seeing you there with your guitar, like I had this like massive wave of uncontrolled like melancholy wishing that we could all just be in a room together you know but somehow you, you brought that kind of sensation uh, in your <laughs> presence and your style and your song and your way so mm, thank you thank mm, you so so much mm, you're welcome <laughs>